first, let me answer the question about a dancer. Being a dancer today is a much broader profession than it was when I was growing up. There are many avenues that a person can follow and 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 work in the field. You can work on Broadway, you can be on a cruise ship, you can be in a, a modern dance company, a ballet company, you can um, do regional theater and musical theater, you can um, create on TikTok and have that literally be your entire career. So what is it that makes a good dancer is defined by which field you're trying to dance in. Um, I can definitely say that the same for choreography. When I teach students um, about creating dance, I always start with the question, why do we make dance? And, and the answer is, is many fold, right? We start with religion and culture. We, we create dance right. to honor deities or to um, self-identify who we are and, and what our uh, history is about. We make dance to uh, sh surely entertain people. Sometimes we make dance to show off the prowess of our skills. And when I say our, I don't mean the choreographer, I mean the, the dancers that they're working with. Sometimes we make dance to uh, just tell a story, to, to, to create a narrative without words. Other times we create dance to express a, a personal a emotion or state of being or experience. And then what became part of the contemporary dance world is that we have allowed dance then to also express protest and uh, to affect social change and to talk about history and um, the progress of humanity. But most importantly, I think dance always exemplifies the human condition because you're using humans to do it. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't really answer at all your question about what makes a good choreographer. But I think instead of qualifying the level of the choreographer, I think it's more important to, to quantify the reason for the choreography. And in doing so, you can, you can decide you love K-pop, you love this choreography of K-pop because it reaches you for some reason. So that choreographer to you is great because they have achieved that avenue. Hmm. For Diego and myself and our organization, I believe that it's sort of a trifecta. We want our audiences first and foremost to be moved. We want them to be moved in such a way that they remember what they have seen. Because dance is erased as it is written. It is not the tree, it's the wind. So you don't have anything to hang on to. You don't have a CD to play or a, a MP3 to download. You don't have a piece of art to hang on your wall. You only have the way it made you feel. How did it make you feel? It made you feel because it's beautiful bodies in motion. It made you feel because it was poignant, because the music was powerful, because the message was powerful. So all of those things are secondary to our desire that you remember. And how, how do we achieve that? It's a combination of passion, talent, and skill. Mm -hmm. And usually we dip into all three of those buckets when we, when we create our work. 